I did make a quick stop when I came in. I did grab, and this looks to be an older Michael Kors purse. It's really cute. I also grabbed a little Brighton. It's like a, a clutch, sorry, it's like a clutch wallet. Um, and I did get this out of the $4 um, bin um, over here on the side. So, you know, that's pretty good for $4. And it's got it's got like a cute little change purse inside. Um, it is a little loud in here. Um, people are are talking and, and it's 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 a little louder than usual. So we'll have to see um, if, if I'll have to do any voiceover later. These are really pretty. Now these are Sardo, um, but I really like the way they look. The leather is very nice on them. Um, the bottoms are nice. Um, so I'm gonna put this pair in the, um, in the thing too. And we will come keep on going. I do wanna go to the first aisle, but there was a bunch of people on it. And like I said, it was a little loud. So, oh, these are cute. These are a pair of Jeffrey Campbell's. Um, you know, usually um, he would do collaborations like with free people or this, that. His shoes are are, are pretty expensive, honestly. Um, I don't know about this pair, but we're going to take them. We're going to put them in our cart and we're going to, you know, figure out if, if that's going to be a good pair or not. So, um, you know, as I'm stepping back, just so you guys can see what um, I can see. Good. It seems like they everybody moved away, so it got a little quieter. These are Carl Lagerfeld. Um, Carl Lagerfeld, um, and they're they're damaged, but he does have a line that was separate from Chanel. Um, not obviously as as high quality, but um, you know they they're they're they do okay. They're they're not you know a big ticket brand, but you know what? Sometimes some of those pieces can be worth grabbing. Um, we also have a pair of little born sandals here. Uh, the heel is like a wedge. They're gonna be a little bit higher, but the color is actually really nice. Um, I don't believe that they have been marked. Uh, well, you know what the threads are, look at the, okay, the front of them is coming apart. So I think we'll, we'll leave that behind and we'll just keep looking. I don't see any carts out right now. Oh, but I hear a dog. <laughs> Somebody, somebody has a puppy in the store. He loud like my puppy, but it's not my puppy. <laughs> um, so we'll come and hit the next aisle and see what we can find. And some of this stuff has been here a while and I've, I've passed by it a few times and I still haven't grabbed it. These are kind of cute, like a little suede clog. Cord, cord, cordani made in Italy. But I'm not sure I I want. Well, I don't know. I do kind of like them. They kind of kind of remind me of like the vintage old school suede wedges where they were all all one color. Um, I'm not exactly sure of the size or if there is a size. Oh, there it is on the bottom. It's a. I think that says 36. I'm not, yes, some, yeah, 36. Okay, so that's probably gonna be about a six and a half then. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and leave those. These are really cute. Now these are a pair of Fly Londons. I, I, I think I've seen these before. These are pretty worn and one of them is missing the laces, but um, Fly London is a very expensive brand. Um, I always, always buy this when I see it, but that looks very worn and this is I'm gonna be a very small size. So um, I'm gonna leave that, but yeah, be on the lookout for Fly London. It's a great brand. Um, okay. Well, I would not say that they put too much out here. It looks like they probably are gonna have to bring some, um, I would say they're probably gonna have to bring out some racks cause it's a little, it, they got a lot of empty spots over here and normally they, they don't, they keep it up pretty good. So we'll just keep on walking around here. Camper, what, okay, those are, those are kids shoes. So, um, you know, as I've told you before, if you don't remember the, um, the kids' shoes here are $3.99. The adult shoes, for the most part, are $7.99, um, unless, they, unless they mark it up. And sometimes they do, and sometimes they don't. 
so you know I will stop and look at the men's shoes I I do I do get quite a few pairs of men's shoes I seem to I seem to like like certain brands and stuff like that so if I see them and they're in good shape um, I don't usually buy Timberlands um, they're just not my oh these are pretty now what are these these look brand new Guido moccasins I think that's what it says Guido maybe maybe um, you know what, I'm gonna put, these look almost brand new and, and they're they're very heavy and they, they have really pretty leather. So I'm gonna toss those in and we'll, we'll go back and we'll check and see if those are any good. Obviously it's not a, these are Nordstrom's. Oh my goodness, these are some big shoes though. I do like buying the big shoes. They, they tend to sell really well and these are a Nordstrom's. I would say maybe at least a 15. Oh, I think I might've been right. That does look like a 15. So yeah. These would be a 15. Nordstrom's 15. Uh, no, I would say the sides look like the, the rubber's coming off on them. Well, that's a bummer. Because, you know, like I said, I, I do buy I do buy men's shoes. And um, I like when I can find the the larger size ones. These are, these are Bostonian. Sorry, they're falling over, so I'll pick them up. Um, but, yeah. I do. I do like the, the men's shoes. What else do we have over here? Who are these? Those are some Sperry's. All right. I feel like, yeah, I feel like we're going to have to, um, we're going to have to fill, they're going to have to fill up the cart. Maybe, maybe we'll go in the back and, um, we'll find some, um, carts back there. I know that they have, I know that they have a bunch of people um, working right now, so that's a pretty, a pretty good indicator that we'll probably see some carts. Now here is a cart full of pillows, which obviously I don't think I want to do. Maybe we'll get lucky, or maybe it's in between. Oh, now see this cart. This cart is full. This one is full. Okay, what is this? Pink. Pink. Oh, yeah. Alright. Okay. We'll come and we'll look at the Christmas stuff. I didn't see any more um, carts over there. This little guy is cute. He caught my eye. Let's look at the little snowman. Made in China. He's very cute. Well, we we will um, we'll walk around the other side and we'll check the um, check the items and see what we can find. No, it looks like it looks like the toys are still pretty depleted over there, but. You know what, let's go ahead and come over here. Oh, that's cute. Look at the little kitty. Look at the little kitty mug. I know, as I told you, I always pick up the little kitty mugs. That is adorable. That's really kind of a different one too. Look at the little glasses and the bow tie. I like that one. So. We'll probably, we'll probably take that. That one's $1.99, so yeah. I think we'll take that kitty mug. And what's this one? Okay, so this one must be like a raccoon. I have a feeling it's probably the same company. That's really, that's a really cool one too. I don't usually like these when they put the metal on the outside because honestly, they don't wear very well. Um, you know, you're just using them with your hand. The oil in your hands will change the color on this. But I will put this in the cart just because it really is cute. Um, and we'll see if the raccoon is worth anything. But like I said, the kitty cat mugs. I buy the kitty cat mugs. I do. I like some kitty cat mugs. All right, so we're over here looking at this regular stuff and I don't see anything else there that I would would have to have to have so this is kind of the bakeware normally we don't we don't see too much of this because it's covered in um, with the carts in the front of it 
Um, I was looking at the cake pans, but I think, I think that's Rudolph. Oh, it is Rudolph. Oh, I do love Rudolph. You know, we might have to, for $2.99, we might have to check that one out because Rudolph is really cute. And who, what's the other one? Oh, that looks like a, nin, a Ninja Turtle. Now, I don't normally buy a lot of these because honestly the price and then to ship them because they're the awkward size, but if they're older ones and this, oh, this is an older one. What's that say, 1989? Yeah, probably have to check that one out too. So, you know, like I said, if you found the older ones, uh, strawberry shortcakes, Care Bears, this and that. Oh, this is a stork. Um, they might be worth it, they might, so. Here, I'm gonna put that one right there just so I can see what this one is. Oh, look at the mummy. See, I love the Halloween one. I like the mummy and there's a dinosaur. But I think, I think I grabbed the two that would probably be the, the best. So, um, you know, depending on, on what the sell through is on those and, oh. That's pretty. I've seen this before. Oh, it's got, it's got chip in it. Okay. This one's probably... Nope, that one's a little bit different. That one's, that one's pretty too. I like the shape of that. The shape of that one is really nice. Okay. So, I don't think I'm going to take any of those. Um, so, we can go on both sides here. Usually at this point, I've kind of filled the cart, but my cart's looking kind of thin, so. This this might be a, this says Wedgwood on it. Which one is this? Oh, it's probably a plate. Oh, and it's broken and they left it out here. So somebody broke it and they put it right back on the shelf. That's just not good. Okay. Um, I will let them know that that is back there. Oh, do you see the, look at this big old poodle. Oh, it's like resin or something. It's not even like ceramic. Porcelain, Copenhagen. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, they're plate hangers. That's that's so pretty. Okay, I don't I don't know anything about Copenhagen porcelain, but I think we'll put it in the cart just because it, it is, it's like a pretty night, night sky scene. Oh, okay, so this one's dated. So that must be 19, that must be 1970. Oh, so these are pretty old then. Huh, I didn't notice if this one had a date on it. Usually if they have a date on it, they, they might not be as good. But these, well, these, sorry, is it Wamsuda, Wamsuda's uh, sheets and pillowcases? Very nice brand. Very nice brand. Brand new. We're taking those. I already know that this is a very high-end, expensive brand, so we will take those right there. Okay, so let's see if this one has a date on it, too. Oh, this one does, too. 1972. Yeah, I don't know if those um, have any value. Most of the time, when the plates are dated, they, they don't. So I'm going to take a quick little um, Google image and we'll find out right now. So we'll find out what it is. Okay. Oops. Sorry. I actually dropped the, the lid before I got the picture. Okay. That time I did it. Okay. So generally, just to let you know, they sell for about $10 on eBay. So, you know, not a great, not a great return. So about $10 on eBay. So, you know, I'll probably just gonna, I'm gonna leave those behind because it's not, it's not worth having to package all that, but they really, they really were pretty. Okay, so now let's go down this aisle and see if we can, if we catch anything. Got some Three Stooges Golf Academy. Uh, this has gotta do something that's funny, but he looks like, I guess that would be Larry. Looks like he's losing his neck up there. So we'll 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 leave Larry alone. Okay. We got some pink stuff out here. Some pink. Oh, that's cute. Tea towel and candy dish. Hallmark. That's that's cute. I don't know if it's new or not, but let's let's see what that is. It might be. The box is pretty nice. 
Oh, that is pretty. You know what? I do kind of like that. I don't know what the value on something like that would be, but this does look, this does look like it might be um, older. Because I don't recall, sorry, I'm scrambling to do this. I don't recall Hallmark keeping anything like this out in a, a box in a while. I don't see a date on it, but you know, I'm going to leave it in the cart. We'll, we will come back to that. This is real pretty too. Look at this, this green embossed glass. Um, it was made by, what is it? White House, is it vintage, Vinters? Okay, so it might've been a wine, might've been a wine decanter. All right, well, we kind of looked through all of this stuff and I'm not sure I'm not sure what we're gonna keep and what we're gonna leave behind, but we'll we'll keep on going. I'm hoping they I'm hoping while I'm here they bring out another cart because it does seem like they're they they could they could bring out some more carts. So maybe we'll get lucky and they'll do that. So I did want to come over here and look at the backpacks and the wallets to see if they, you know, put anything back over here. I don't see anything over here in the backpacks. It looks like mostly suitcases, but I do want to check. I do want to check um, over here and see if there's anything hidden in here. Cause you know, like I said, I, I found that nice Brighton already sitting here. Now what is this? This definitely looks older. It actually has the straps to make it like a, a cross body or a shoulder purse, but um, it just doesn't have enough information in it. And here is a Carhartt uh, beanie hat. They don't they don't go for great money. You can still buy those um, online here and there for you know 20 bucks. So I think I'm gonna leave that. And here's a new one. This one just this one is. Um, from uh, I think a Ross or something, but you know, not something that I I need. So I don't see too much over here, and I might have enough time today to hit another store. So that might just be what I'm gonna do. So let's go over here and see the belts and the ties and see if anything catches our attention over here. Now what is this? that oh it's okay so it's like an it's like a um a little you can you can roll it around it will uh, expand into like a little trolley cart or something like that i did last time i was here i bought two beautiful brighton reversible belts um they were really really cute really nice so those are kind of a good find now what are these these actually these look like little kids shoes um so I do want to find the last, the last aisle here. Okay, so we'll see. <laughs> no, I don't see anything I have to have. All right, I think that I am going to turn you guys turn you guys off i'm gonna do a recheck on all of my items and figure out what i'm gonna take and what i'm gonna leave behind all right i'll see you in a little while so I did want to do a quick little recap of the things that I got today at the Goodwill. Um, it was, it, once again, it was a small haul, but um, I got some really unique looking things. This is an old um, vintage Brighton. It actually has, oh, and they gave me a penny. <laughs> it actually has a little coin purse that comes inside of it. Um, really, really pretty. Obviously leather, silver, you know, kind of a vintage look, but um, I, it's a pretty, really pretty color blue. Um, I also did get the, um, the Rudolph cake pan. Um, um, I don't buy cake pans very often. Um, they're kind of, most of the time they're kind of an awkward size. Um, 
and, and you know shipping them for the value isn't great but this one actually had some decent value and I looked up the other ones and this was the only one I decided to take um, so I did grab Rudolph I did get some vintage Wams uh, Wamsuda or Wamsuda I'm not sure exactly how it's pronounced um, sheets and pillowcases very nice brand very expensive um, you know the vintage ones probably aren't going to be a, you know a huge dollar fine but they are brand new so that's you know that's easy when they're brand new i also got a pair of uh these are this brand is called guido moccasins i could tell that they were really high quality when i picked them up the leather is like butter on these so i did grab those i got a pair of sardo um black loafers um i also grabbed this this is actually a very vintage michael kors purse you just don't see them like that anymore it's a smaller purse but it's really cute with the clasp block um you know i just have to clean it up just a little bit but um, I think that'll wipe up real nice. And, um, you know, for $7.99, this was, this was a $7.99-er. In fact, all of the shoes I bought today were the $7.99s. Um, none of them were marked up. So, you know, that was kind of a, um, you know, a good find. I do have my receipt over here. So let me grab that because I've already forgotten how much I spent. But I actually have have the receipt right here. Okay, so my total spent at the, at the Goodwill today was going to be... $34. Okay, so I spent $34 at the Goodwill. Pretty pretty good value for um, what I got. You know, they only charged me $4 for the Brighton, so that was a that was a kind of a, a good one. Hopefully, um, hopefully it has some good value, but I never know till I go and look it up. So thanks again. I, I appreciate every one of you that watch. You know, the channel has grown a lot. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you soon. Bye.